welcome back to the Bioconductor tutorial series. Um, in this series, I'm going to um, uh, tell you how to get sequences once you get, give your uh, program a list of genes. So in my last video, I already showed how to um, get um, a list of genes. So you can look at that if you want to do it. I'm first going to set my library, uh, my sorry, my path to... Um, to, you know, my actual folder, because I actually don't want to work in my documents folder. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to get my work just to check. Yes, that's correct. So first, I want to start up my library, and that's going to be the Biomart. And that should be fine. Um, and now I'm going to get the human um, genome Biomart thing object <laughs> and I want to use the ensemble database and then I want to use the homo sapiens data set um, do -do. And sapiens and spell that right <laughs> So I always have trouble with that. Um, I just want to check this object. Is correct? Yes. So um, I'm going to bring up this. Uh, here I have a list of chromosomes. Um, and I have um, my test genes um, comma separate value file. OK, close that. Uh, so I have two um, genes in my test file um, in the call news H, G, and C symbol. So it's KRAS and BRAF. And I'm going to um, get the sequences for these two genes. And so let's close that. So first, what I want to do is I want to read in my CSV file. And we do that with read CSV. And I have to write in my um, the the name of my file, which is test genes. Um, that did not seem to like that. Why not? Oh, it's because it's called test genes with S. Great, let's just check that. And look, it's it's done it. Correct. That's great. And now I want to read in the column with just the G name, so the H, G, and C symbol. So H, uh, G, and C. And I want to call it gene. Um, and I want to just do the H, G, and C symbol column. Let's just check that. And now I have just a uh, data list of um, just those two genes. All right. And now I want to get the pet peptide sequences. So let's see if I can uh, can move this up. Well, I guess you guys have to just read at the bottom, hopefully. Or I can do this. There we are. So um, our sequences is going to be, we want to use the get sequence. Sequence. Yeah, the get sequence um, command. And if you look at the uh, Biomart. Um... Oh, sorry about that. My uh, recorder fizzled out. But basically, um, you can use the documentation, and you have to write this command. So you have to get use the git sequence command, and our ID will be using this vector right here, um, the vector we just made, the H, G, and C um, one. And our type is um, H, G, and C symbol. That's just uh, from the uh, documentation over here. And um, our seek type is going to be peptide. Because um, I want to get the peptides, and our mart is the uh, ensemble mart that we made earlier in um, our um, workspace. So um, let's just check out, and this took about a minute to run, so it was just me just looking at the screen and then my, uh, just used too much memory for my computer. So let's just take out, check out what the seek is here. So um, it seems like we have a, one, a bunch of really long peptides. The first one's unavailable. And um, here are the columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this to a CSV file. Um, so we can see it a little better. Um, 
So we want to write seek and we want to do output. I'm going to call it output of the test gene. Yes, this will be fine. Um, let me just go here. This we can see a little better. Um, yeah, this output is great. So really long sequences, a lot of really long sequences. But um, so you know for BRAF, um, the first one was just unavailable. KRAS has a sequence, BRAF has another one, BRAF has another variant, BRAF has another variant, KRAS has a long one and a short one, and BRAF has, BRAF has some more. So I guess we could uh, um, sort this. <laughs> guess it does not like this headers. But um, yeah, you can see if we have... Um, Four variants for BRAF and four variants for uh, um, KRAS. And you can't see it, but the end sequence of this one's a little different than that one. All right, so this is how you get the sequences um, for your, um, for if, if you uh, give it an input of G names. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, I will think of some other tutorials to do. Thanks, bye.